Hi, today I'm going to be working on the bolt of my Ruger 1022. Uh, we had a few jamming problems at a recent Appleseed event. Uh, one was stove piping and one was actually the bolt not coming all the way forward. I'm not sure if that was caused by friction or uh, possibly just uh, the ammunition we were using. But either way, uh, I'm going to do a little polishing on the bolt to try to take care of that. So first step is to disassemble the gun. And then once the uh, stock is removed, we can remove the trigger group. And then once the trigger group's removed, we need to remove the buffer pin, which allows the uh, bolt to be fully extracted rearward and lifted up through a small notch and the bolt drops out of it. So as you can see, the bolt, uh, this may be different than some previous models. I thought on older models this was all flat, but as you can see on this one, there's a few raised sections right here and right here. Uh, these appear to be the only places that really contact the top of the receiver. So I'm gonna uh, just spend a little bit of time with a hone on those. Uh, so today we're going to use a Japanese water stone for that. Now this is a thousand grit water stone, so it's not removing very much material, but it is polishing those spaces. And as you can see, uh, on the back here, we were almost completely polished and removed all the rough marks. You can see on the front here, uh, we still have a few spots, but we've, we've pretty well polished up a contacting surface. So I'm just gonna take this a little more on the thousand grit and then really polish it on the back side of this which is an 8,000 grit. You'll see it doesn't take long and we're not removing very much material here. I don't want the bolt to be sloppy in the receiver. So I've got about 75% of the surface now uh, polished, which I think is uh, probably adequate. Go ahead and polish it the rest of the way. see once it's been on the 8,000 it's basically a mirror shine so that'll be it for polishing the bolt while I'm in working on this bolt I'm also going to relieve these corners just a little bit to help uh, improve the uh, reassembly with the bolt charging handle uh, which tends to be a little bit difficult to drop in so
So I'm not sure I've really taken enough off of here to uh, improve that, but we'll see if it's a little easier to put back together after this. So for reassembly, uh, it just drops in with the bolt charging handle in place. Yep, so that was definitely easier to drop in than it is typically. A um, little bit of an improvement there. And as we cycle the bolt, feels like it might be a little slicker. Uh, not, not sure that's a worthwhile game, but we'll see if we uh, continue to have those jamming issues. <laughs> 